Greetings everyone. Today we will have a chat and two games about Arctic Cheetah. Why Arctic Cheetah all of a sudden? You're not light pilot. Why are you showing us lights? Well, I'm happy you asked. So why? Because it's free. Yes, you can get this mech for free. The speed of light event. You can get two free mechs in MechWarrior Online. June free mech event. Well, thank you, PGI. You can complete challenges uh, in all game modes. So, good news for all of us that are still playing Faction Warfare. And as you can see, there is a lot of time to do it. You need to finish uh, some in-game tasks, but nothing really all that hard. Just destroy mechs using different uh, kind of weapons, missiles, lasers, ballistics. And the uh, rewards are actually pretty good. Seven days of premium time. Uh, some cockpit items. Some equipment, as you can see. Yeah, another cockpit item, decals, MCs, nice, very nice, even more decals and more MCs. Engine, well, okay, that's unusual, but still welcome. Engine, more MCs, and finally, of course, McBay, an Arctic Cheetah E and Magbay and Javelin 11A well if you ask me this is great stuff even if you are like me not really a light pilot hey it's free stuff free go and get it that's simple you have an entire month to do it see you on the battlefield I guess Okay, now you know why. This video will be about Arctic Cheater, not Javelin though. I will show you two games and after those two, two games I will show you a bunch of possible builds and uh, we will discuss them briefly. I will be playing Arctic Cheater Prime, not an E variant, but uh, let's be honest, this is Omnimech. Variants exist only on papers. And yes, they have different 8-piece bonuses, but um, in this case, they are really not that important. Okay. Arctic Cheetah. Why not? Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. This is Clan Command. Get to the target and capture it. Cut down oh. any enemy. What do I want to do here? We have some kind of light pack, so maybe we should stay with those guys. I don't know. I am not a light pilot. I have no idea. What was your plan? That is a stupid plan. Hmm. I am definitely a harasser here. Harassing Heat level critical Tank strike protocol active Tank 
We will be harassing this guy now. Actually, there is two guys there. Wow. Okay. These guys do not give in a shit. Slapped him some, but that's only an arm. Hmm. Gauss, you say? Something with the Gauss. That is a blood asp. You can trust me on that. Dude, you want to fucking kill me? Lights blocking lights. For real? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, holy shit, this is not the situation. guy on top really want me let's cool down a little bit and let's go deliver good news oh three large pulse lasers mm -hmm. target engaged Shit. um we are not winning this one Satellite link wow really Oh, that is a half of a Vapor Eagle? And this will be the other half pretty soon, but... Uh... Oh, shit! Jabated! Definitely jabated! <laughs> well... Sometimes to eat, sometimes to get eaten. Target engaged. Okay. I know, Clan Commander, we failed. We kinda did, actually. No, I went up. Hmm. Alright, alright. Right. Who do we have here? Okay. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Thank you, Betty. Shutdown sequence overridden. Get to the target and capture it. Cut down any enemy. Okay, I am a harasser. So let's do our evil harassing ways. Not so bad, 30 percent. That's that was a UAV, okay. 
No. Let's see. Tank strike protocol active. Image enhanced. Enemy mech detected. Okay. What can we harass? We can harass this guy. Axum. Three peeps. Huh? Shit. Target engaged. Some spider could be a problem. Target well, engaged. Not if he's dropped. That's an UAV. Dude. That guy almost killed me by blocking me. Sold I. Tank strike protocol active. This guy is dead, like destroyed. everyone wants a piece of him. What the shit, dude? Tank strike initial. Let's see. Target Annie. engaged. Annie, are you okay? Satellite link established. Target engaged. Target engaged. Okay, Annie. Of course he looked at my way. Like fucking immediately. Target engaged. You know? I think you should. Target oh my, engaged. what are you? You're dead. That's what you are. Enemy mech destroyed. Target engaged. Target engaged. Huh? Critical hit. Left really? leg. That was not nice. Well, let's do our evil harassing stuff. No, UAV. Not much evil Target harassing we can engaged. do. UAV above our head. Dude, I want that leg of yours. Sorry. Heat level critical. Okay, come here and die. Heat level critical. No, 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 no. You are not surviving. Heat level critical. Shut down sequence overridden. Level critical. Oh, 
Okay, that's good. Okay, somebody shot at him or he just exploded? So I'm guessing down below, right? Well, let's check. He is in the circle, but... Where are you? Okay. He's gone. He's gone, brah. Well, I didn't do much this game, but I was harassing. Uh, yeah, that was my role. Harassing. Good scrap. Yeah, we did decent. Oh yeah, blood asps. All right, this is the most classic, the most popular one. Six small pulse lasers with ECM. And word of advice, I strongly recommend you always go this torso prime left torso this mech is incredibly fragile as you saw in my videos well all lights are fragile but this one feel like it's made from glass so you should take all the help you can get so six small pulse lasers as you can see firepower is decent Heat management is decent and with very short duration of small pulse laser you will be very precise with that weapon. Obviously your range is a problem. This is not a harasser. You need to be in the face with this mech. Okay, this is the build I used in the first game. As you can see, ECM torso very good idea but with five ER medium lasers we suddenly have decent range and we can do some harassing yes as you can see 450 meters almost 450 meters optimal range this is very very decent really enough for kind of harassing we are doing here Heat, man heat management is still good, firepower is still good, very useful, as you could see by yourself in the first game. Now, this is the build I used in the second game. I personally prefer that build, to be honest. Those are medium pulse lasers, so you sacrifice some range. Instead of 450, you suddenly have 300 meters of range. But, and firepower is slightly less. But, duration of your laser burn is significantly reduced. If that's something you would prefer over the ER medium lasers, well, you will be the judge. Well, if you prefer firepower over finesse, this is something you may go for. Four heavy medium lasers with 13 double heat sinks. So your heat management is still fine. Actually, it's quite fine to be honest. You have 40 alpha. 40 points of alpha is nothing to sneeze about, especially in the light mag. Well. But there are some trade-offs, let's be honest here. First, you still have 300 meters of range, as with uh, medium pulse lasers, but your duration suddenly jump from 0.8 to 1.3 seconds. For me, that's a uh, long duration, very long duration. Uh, it's uh, very hard for me to move with 100 40 km per hour 
and keep that burn on a specific component, especially if I'm fighting medium mech or even light mech. So yeah, not uh, not something for everyone. But if you want firepower, if you want to drill those uh, cities, yeah, that could be it. Very fun evening of melting faces. This is something slightly different. As you can see, with uh, E components, E version uh, Omnipods, you have three ballistics in each arm. That's amount to six machine guns. If you combine with the, combine those machine guns with two heavy medium lasers, well, suddenly your firepower and your DPS skyrocketed. This is show me your back and I will show you good stuff kind of build. All right, this is something for all of you people that need to use eight piece bonus on E version of Arctic Cheetah. You have, you still have those sweet six machine guns, but instead of two heavy medium lasers and ECM, you have three heavy medium lasers. What are trade-offs? What are the trade-offs? Well, you have bigger firepower, that's for sure. And that's a good stuff. This if previous build was show me your back and I will show you heaven. This one is even better at that. If you can jump someone from behind, that should be the end of it. And the downside of uh, the build in, compa in comparison with previous one? Well, you do not have that ECM. You are not that stealthy anymore. So jump, actual jumping part can be a bit harder than in the previous than in the previous build. Which one would you prefer? Well, you will be the judge of that. Of course, there are some of us that like to stay away with their lights, do not get into the scraps with bigger and more nasty mechs. As you can see, there are options for you too. Is this really viable build? Is this really powerful build? Well, it's a harassing build. Wouldn't be my favorite, but I saw some people pulling amazing stuff with this one. Ask previously, if this is something for you, you will be the judge. Obviously, we didn't completely exhaust the topic. This is an omni mech, a Lego mech. You can do whatever you want. You have some missile mounts, you have some ballistic mounts, you have some energy mounts. This will be primary energy bolt, but that shouldn't stop your experiments in that field. So, if you enjoyed the video, click a like, share it with others, comment on it, and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.